with him, uh, what would you say was interesting and unique about his guitar playing in terms of the, 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 his choice of notes and how much it varied from one performance to the other? I think he was really consistent. You know, he was Phil on every gig, he was Phil. It wasn't a technical thing. It's just that the way he poured it out and just like, and, and beat himself up. He used to beat himself up by just like going, oh, fuck. You know, he would, he'd, he would, he'd write the most hardest things and he realised he's got to play it. Oh, shit, he sees his face go, sorry. <laughs> and unlike some, he did play some of the most difficult stuff he wrote. He did. Unlike Zappa, for instance. He wouldn't play it. Yeah. No. No, he'd leave that to Steve Vai or whatever, you know, come on. He'd, he'd, he'd do a solo on a blues. I saw it, I saw it, you know, crikey, yeah. He's writing all this hard stuff, but you're not playing it, are you? Yeah. He's just worked it out, yeah, yeah, I know, oh, well, yeah, put this group of 13 over this seven. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but he, at least Phil played it, or had a go at playing it, you know. It was some hard stuff, really hard. Yeah. It's amazing, you know, like, it's just like the Zappa thing, you know, Seeing it on a page and not seeing it as a shape or tune, it was its, its own thing, its own piece. It's quite, it wasn't like AABA, -A -A. it wasn't a 32 bar sequence, never, I don't think. I don't think he ever wrote a 32 bar sequence. Yeah, and yet there was something about the melodies that he had that was really ear catching. So well, there was yeah, this yeah. unique mixture of. Oh, I well, look at the Vortex King, everybody was singing these tunes for days. This is the band. Just, well, what's your earworm today? Oh, it's this one. Oh, I'm, I'm doing Calyx. I'm doing so, so, yeah. You know, everybody has these earworms. It's just they wouldn't get rid of them. We go, ah, oh, it's driving me mad. All I wake up, wake up, and I'm hearing these tunes. Oh, yeah. oh, that's how, That's the proof of good writing. Or Is melodic. this something that became apparent after years, or what? It, was it apparent to you while you were playing? Well, yeah. Recording? Well, the thing is, I, I I tend not to use music on stage. Like I say, it's a safety net. You know, like Dave Stewart sort of thing. You know, but if I if 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 uh, if I'm playing compositions that I like, I'll learn them. You know, subconsciously, I won't. You know, don't, 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 don't use the chart. I won't even refer to the chart. It's, it's, I just use the chart as part as a set list. Oh, what's next? Oh, it's that. You know, I won't actually read the chart because. But I, I, I've done a lot of complex projects where I've, I'm not like the music, and I have to use the music for every gig and every tune because it's not gone in there, because I don't like it. But with Phil's stuff, you know, I, 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 I sort of, not, I couldn't sing it to you, the, the, the whole form and whatever, but I, once it came back, oh yeah, it makes sense. I could see where it was going to go, and, uh, and, uh, and, and that's, you know, I, that's how I'd learn it, sort of. You know, it's melodic, it's like Zappa things, the best way to learn odd time signatures, because he'd write melodies in weird groupings, you know, and it made sense like that. You know, although, although on the page it looked like, you know, what's that? But when you heard it against what was going on, it makes sense. You know, didn't at the time, mostly, but, you know, but listening back to it, I said, oh, God, I wish I'd have done that better. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, sometimes not doing it justice. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, tr I trust your judgment. You know, you know what I mean. Come on. <laughs> In terms of rehearsing the music, was a lot of hard work, mostly done here, uh, was yeah. it fastidious? Uh, well, no, because it wasn't strict. We, 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 there'd be a lot of interaction, should I say, heated interaction about, we're well, usually coming from the keyboard department, <laughs> uh, questioning the cadence and the so-and-so and all this. And I, this is stuff they played ages, you know. And I'm, so, I'm following them. And then when they're not, you know, like concrete, I'm going, oh shit, how, how am I supposed to deal with this? No, no, see, because the bass is doing this, and this is some stuff recorded years ago that they've been gigging, you know. So, um, so I just, oh, I'll, I'll wait for the shrapnel to settle, you know. Okay, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try and you know, just lay low, not get in the way. Yeah. Of course I did get in the way. <laughs> but not, not on purpose, not forcefully, you know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah, you did. You noisy bastard. You're making me self-conscious. No, no. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> oh my god. I won't say that word again. No. <laughs> <laughs>